What's going on everybody? It's me Melvin with Prime Hustles and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to fulfill an order on Shopify for your print on demand store using Printful. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Why not? It helps your boy out and I appreciate the support. But with all that said, it's coming up right after the intro. I'm a young Spanish nigga from the projects. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, who gonna stop it? So right here we're on our dashboard and here we could actually see um, our orders okay so we see a customer placed an order this is actually a sample order so I'm actually going to show you how to fulfill that order here on Shopify okay and this question actually came from a subscriber which I hope she's a subscriber um, her name Katrina she put, thanks for this video. Can you create another video on how to fulfill orders from your store and also basically how to run the store if it's okay? Absolutely, Katrina. So this is a video response to you and I hope this video helps you out. And I hope it also helps out anybody else that's watching this video. And if you find value in this video, guys, smash that like button, consider subscribing. It helps me out and it actually motivates me on to make more content, okay? So right here we're on our dashboard, on our store. So I'm gonna assume you guys have everything set up, right? You guys have your whole store set up, you got your products imported, and you're ready to go. And for this um, example here, we're using Printful as our um, fulfillment center, okay? So right here we're gonna click on orders, okay? And as you can see here, I got an order, this is a sample from John Doe. We're just gonna click on that order and as you can see here that John Doe ordered an iPhone 11 okay that's the picture that he wants and uh, the color of the case will be red so I'm gonna assume you guys watch my other videos on basically for this example is creating a template on Adobe Illustrator where you can literally reference back to that template and you can put the color that the customer requests so for in this example it's red and he wants that picture so we're going to assume he wants that picture turned into a cartoon um, with just the face and this is how you can get that done okay so you're going to click on this picture okay guys and it's going to download as a webp file okay so that's a ugly picture of me so after you have that downloaded, you're going to go over to a website called convertio.co. Okay, you're going to choose file and you're going to go to your downloads or wherever you have your images saved. Okay, and you're going to click on that photo. Okay, and you're going to hit open. Once you hit open, right here where it says two with a drop down arrow, you're just going to hit uh, JPG, JPEG, and then you're going to hit convert. Okay, so after it converts, guys you're gonna see a, a download button here so you just click on that it's gonna download so that JPEG that downloaded you're actually gonna reach out to your designer okay on um, on Fiverr wherever you're gonna get your work done at and just literally let them know that you want a PNG you want that image converted into a cartoon with a PNG transparent background okay and just you know just a head no shoulders okay so he can just deliver the product which literally just ahead so after you receive um, the finished order then you can go on and start fulfilling that order okay so right here you're just gonna go to apps you're gonna go on printful and literally let me just see the number on this order so that is order number 1004 so I did a bunch of sample orders here alright so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna hit new order okay so let me just walk you back to that guys you just go on apps click on printful and you're gonna start a new order so then you're gonna hit create order and here we go so the customer wants um, iPhone 11 okay so we're gonna click iPhone 11 so I'm gonna assume you guys actually have your file saved, okay? Your uh, your template, and 
if you're not actually doing custom products or like custom cases then obviously just this video is more reference to uh, you know how to fulfill an order so, but if you're doing like custom products then you can if uh, custom cases at that you can actually follow this process here okay so we're gonna go to edit and let's say there was nothing there and you want to upload an image you're gonna hit choose file and so let's say you got your finished uh, file from Adobe Illustrator you actually change the color of the background you put your image on there then you're gonna upload it okay guys you're gonna save it and then you're gonna up um, save it to your downloads and then you're gonna upload it here onto Printful so since I don't have one of those files saved I'm just gonna use the one that I had then I'm actually gonna bring this down to where I'm satisfied okay and I'm happy with how it looks then I'm gonna hit continue okay everything looks good that's the mock-up that's basically how it's gonna look and we're good to go then we're gonna hit continue shipping okay so once you go there guys once you get to this screen here you're gonna go back to your Shopify you're gonna go into your orders you're gonna click on that customers order and you're gonna actually put in the address okay from right here on your orders you're gonna actually put that information here on printful okay and what you're gonna do is order number 1004 okay and I got that number from here okay so if it's your first order it'll say 1001 and guys you could change all that information to your preference uh, this video is not geared towards that um, but this is more on how to fulfill an order on Printful so after you put in the shipping information here on Printful and you you calculate shipping you go through the whole checkout process then you're all set you're good okay then you come back here to, to your Shopify and you hit fulfill item okay after you hit fulfill item another screen will come up to your to your right hand side See if I click here, it'll say fulfill item. Done deal. Okay, so now the item is fulfilled. So then now it's going to show that it's fulfilled. So right away, after you fulfill the item, the customer, John Doe, is going to receive a notification saying that the order has been fulfilled and it's in the process. Okay, so it's actually going to, you don't have to do nothing on your end. All right, guys, you, you guys are done. You did your part. You guys. You guys uh, take your profits and you guys paid printful and you're good to go okay so that's pretty much it's pretty cut and dry on how to fulfill orders okay and there's a lot of videos literally on YouTube that walks you through on um, you know how to set everything up like like certain preferences like how to change your order number to how you want it you know so on and so forth but right here guys you could actually see like if you have your email marketing set up this is where the customer will put on put their information in okay their email address so on and so forth and you'll see all your customers information here okay then you could check your analytics okay you could basically see you know how much traffic you're getting how many online online store sessions returning customers how many orders so basically, to answer Katrina's message as far as how to run, you know, run the store, pretty much, let's say you wake up in the morning, all right? Let's say you wake up in the morning, you have like two or three hours uh, downtime, right? You, you don't have anything to do, so you're just going to log on to your Shopify store, and you're going to see how many orders you have, okay? You're going to come here. It'll, if you have orders, it'll have a number right here on the side, like it showed earlier. And you're just going to click on that and you're going to see what the customer ordered and then you can start that process on fulfilling those orders okay and pretty much my suggestion uh, to you would be is just take time take time in the morning to fulfill your orders okay or if you don't have time in the morning then whenever you have time in the evening or with whenever whatever time throughout the day just get those orders fulfilled and you're good to go um one of my suggestions would be you know to to market you know your phone cases or whatever whatever product you are um, you're selling use platforms like 
you know, Instagram, okay, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, okay, Facebook, and literally with these platforms, you can sit here and create one image, okay, one product, you know, uh, template, and you could just upload those on Instagram, you can upload it on TikTok. Snapchat just literally advertising your product, okay, and just driving traffic to your uh, your item. So let's say, for instance, we're gonna go here to online store. Okay, this is the sample store. So let's say you have your catalog here and you have multiple cases here. So what you could do is, if you want to advertise this case on TikTok, you just click on the case, right? And this is the actual URL of the case okay so literally what you can do is just highlight that right click just go to copy and then right here just go to Billy okay, com, and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna take that link right and you're gonna shorten it so you're gonna paste it there and you're gonna shorten it okay so now you have now you have that link shortened so this after you create your TikTok video, you know, basically like describing the product, right? You could use images and you could also order sample products on Printful. Okay. And let's check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Let's go back to apps. Let's go back to Printful. And guys, literally, this is what you guys are gonna do, okay? So let's say you wanna order a sample phone case okay you go here where it says new order and right here look at this your first order offer make a sample order in the next 24 hours and get 30 percent off okay so you create an order okay ordering a phone case okay you order a phone case or you order a t-shirt whatever product you want to actually advertise and sell on your store you order a sample once you receive that sample now you can create a TikTok video, an Instagram uh, video. You can create a Facebook ad, literally advertising that product. Okay, and literally, once you advertise, you're driving traffic back to that URL link that we actually shortened here. So this is your link. So if we go here and we actually paste that link in, voila. Okay, guys, check that out. So now the customer can see here upload their file they like the case they're like wow well, I want to have my face on that case well can make that happen for you just upload the file pick your color background check out and then we receive the order right here on our end and we can start the fulfilling process okay so right here under variant options uh, option product options here you click on that so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna activate that. All right. I'm gonna start the free trial. So after you clicked on it, now you can sit here and add all these options to your products, okay? And so you can sit here and you know choose your product, okay? We pick that. We're gonna hit select, and then literally, guys, what you guys can do is size. You got your iPhone sizes here, right? Okay, cool. Now you want to add more. Uh, so these are the options I had I had chosen, right? So let's say I want to add something else. So I have upload file and color. So I'm gonna add another virtual option. So we're gonna put name. And then for type, we're actually gonna put text. And then max, we're just gonna put 20, which that's way too much. You know, you could even put like the initials, so you could narrow it down to three. So if they have a first, middle, last, there you go. Three initials. Okay. And you could actually change this to initials all right and then you hit okay all right and then you hit save and then if we go back here and actually refresh that you're gonna actually see there's another option on there right guys so there's an upload file there's color there's initials that way they could add their initials here okay and you're good to go Okay, so literally, this is where you could literally check out all your marketing. Um, you could create a campaign. 
these are marketing apps see right here snapchat you got google you got pinterest these are all platforms that you can use to help you market your product okay so take time out of your morning or out of your evening to fulfill these orders and you know make sure your store is set up properly um, if you guys would like a video more in depth on how to set everything up I will be more than happy to create a video showing you guys that just let me know in the comment section below and yeah that's that's pretty much it you know you're you're focused you know to make sure your store is actually uh, optimized and you know not running slow and if you want to make sure your your store is running fast um, you can literally go okay and you can see it usually says uh, the online store speed so it's unavailable obviously this is a sample store I don't have nothing set up on here but literally you'll have like a score right here where it says view report and if you're not happy with whatever score that is you can actually get your store up to speed and you can actually outsource that you know um, speed up Shopify store let's check that out and then speed optimization check that out I will do shop Shopify speed optimization for all pages and literally that's pretty much it okay so that is how you fulfill orders okay on Shopify and in this example it was for printful but pretty much it's cut and dry this is the process you're gonna be focusing on your orders you want to be checking your analytics okay you want to see how many uh, see where your customers are are at you can view your report and you can see here the time frames that the customers are checking out your store all right and that's pretty much it and I you know I advise you know if you're gonna make like a, a if you want to store, like let's say, just focusing on phone cases, just keep it niche, right? You know, I, I I'm a fan of a niche store. Having a niche store would actually keep more of the retention rate on your store, right? You know, because if you literally have, you know, a general store where you have multiple stuff on your store, then more than likely customers are gonna come on your website. Let's say they're gonna love everything they see, so it's gonna be hard for them to decide. So if you have it down to one product, like a one product, a Shopify store, yeah, chances are you know you you you'll be good in that in that business, right? Because the customers are gonna see what they like and they're gonna get it, you know. Versus having multiple things on the store, where let's say they love it all, but they don't have the money for all of it, so they're just not gonna make a decision at that point, and customers are gonna run away. All right. So this video was actually quick. I actually do have to run. I have to go run and pick up my kid um, in Chicago. So I'm literally time crunching right now. I hope I answered your question, Katrina. And if I didn't, I'll make a more in-depth video for you. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. It helps me out. And I really do appreciate it. And I'm actually going to focus more on making videos more consistently. I have a busy schedule. I work a full-time job. So the time that I do have to make videos, literally, I make them on the weekend. And there's times, literally, that I'm so burnt out that I don't even get to them. But this is going to be one of my priorities is to create more content on a, on a continuous basis for you guys. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm a young Spanish nigga from the projects.